speaking with Tony Roberts, who's been in Formula 5000 for how long? Uh, about 20 years now, yeah. First started with uh, Formula Libra racing in 97, and love the cars, they're absolutely amazing. So tell me, what, for someone that doesn't know about what this class is, what are these cars? Well, these cars started out originally was a, a stock block class invented in America. So the cars had to have a, a stock block motor, be it a, a Chevrolet, Mopar even, or a Ford. Uh, Chevrolet seemed to dominate. They were a better motor at the time, I think, or made better power. Uh, so that started in 1969. The cars progressed pretty fast. They were supported, first of all, by Lola 142. McLaren got into it and Bruce himself did a lot of work on the setup of the M10A. M10A's won the European Championship and they won the American Championship in 1969. So there's a massive change from these early ones, like some look yeah. 60s and yeah, then we right. go right through to some that look like Formula One style cars. Yeah, it's like all motorsport, it, it progressed very quickly. So a 1969 car like mine was virtually obsolete by 1970 and then they kept building them right up to 1978. So Lola was one of the key makes and uh, Lola took their Formula 2 cars and shoveled V8s into the back of them. And the Lola 330 and 332 was the iconic car because they'd moved the radiators to the side they had massive downforce, uh, their wings were excellent. So the difference between the early cars and the late cars is really significant. So within our series, what we do, we won a, a Class A and a Class B. So the Class A cars are up to 1971, the end of 1971. And you'll see on the car that, I, that I've got an, an A after my number. The Class B cars are from 1972 to 1978. The thing is, we were watching on the bank yesterday, these cars are really fast. Yeah, they are fast. They're, uh, I think they hold the lap record on every circuit in New Zealand at the moment. So uh, they do, they get up to 280 k's. Well, I mean, they're a car that uh, the crowd seem to love. I mean, whenever you take them out, everybody comes out to see the 5000s. Yeah. What, what is it about them you think makes them so popular for, for people to come and see? Oh, I think it's the wings and the slicks of the big tyres on the back and the noise of that V8. We wind them out to, to 8,000 revs uh, and to hear a 5 litre V8 doing that sort of thing is uh, pretty spectacular.